You better learn. I can control anybody. They say this is a big rich town. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another PowerBook 2 Ghost video if you're new. Now today we're going to be talking about the picture they released with Entertainment Weekly. We're going to talk about the Power Universe turning into TV's next MCU. If you're a fan of Power, if you love Power, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on PowerBook 2 Ghost, you get them. Now this photo right here was released like 7 hours ago. It features Davis McLean, Tariq St. Patrick, and Tasha St. Patrick. And she's all dressed up and it seems like she's been released from prison. So this might be towards the end of the season. Or they might let her out just to go to Ghost's funeral. I don't know. But she's definitely out in this scene. And Tariq don't look too happy. Whatever's going on ain't good. It looks like somebody's there saying something that they don't like. Now Ghost may be dead but power lives on. Just months after wrapping the Hit Stars series about a drug dealer's unsuccessful mission to go legit with the saddest ending of a TV show ever, creator Courtney Kemp says she's taken inspiration from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. She wants power to be something like the Marvel Universe. And it definitely is. It's definitely getting there. You know, they got four spinoffs in the works. And you know, if they keep power content coming, like they said, power never ends. If they keep the content coming, it definitely could be like a Marvel Cinematic Universe. It definitely could if they keep this up. People keep saying like, why didn't Courtney Kemp call this power season seven? And this is what she said. She said, it's not power. It's really about Ghost's absence and about how his shadow looms over everyone, especially his son. Courtney Kemp said she knows she's not taking the easiest road, putting Tariq front and center, making him the focus of the series. She knows it's not going to be easy. She knows she's going to get some hate because not a lot of people like Tariq, but it is what it is, man. It's her show. If people want to hate, that's on them. But, you know, people are going to still watch the show regardless at the end of the day. The people that are bitching, complaining, and moaning, saying, no, nah, I'm not going to watch Power. I'm not going to watch Power Book 2 Ghost. It's not the same without Ghost and Tommy. I guarantee you, and I tell you this right now, I guarantee you 100% fact they're still going to watch it. You know, they're still going to tune in. She's definitely going to make Tariq more likable. She said, I do think that if people get to know this version of Tariq, who is confused and alone and has so much pressure on his shoulders, they will see that all he's trying to do is survive, which couldn't be more relatable. When it comes to killing ghosts, Michael Rainey Jr. says Tariq did what he had to do in order to have a future. But he says this will haunt him as he tries to free the imprisoned Tasha who refuses to let him confess. She's made a choice, like many mothers would, to do what's best for her son. This is what Naturi said. She says, I know he's wrong. I know he's been a hot mess, a child who doesn't listen. He does whatever he wants, but at the same time, he's just like his father. So in a way we can't fully blame Tariq because we created this monster. She also says that Tasha and Tariq will now forever be connected in a new way. Following Ghost murder, we are exploring mother and son as true partners. So when she gets out of prison, I feel like they're going to be working together in the drug business. She taught him the game in Power Season 6. She said, Tariq, I'm going to teach you the game. So I feel like they're going to be working together and doing this together. Yeah, they must be letting her out of jail to come to the funeral. Because in this picture right here, we see Tasha, she's all dressed up. And then we see her getting out of a van and it says Federal Corrections on it. And we see some agents, they're holding her, you know, so she can't get away. So they must be letting her go to the funeral, even though she's locked up. Michael Rainey Jr. said he was very surprised when he was told that he was getting his own series. And then Naturi Naughton said she was really shocked when Courtney Kemp told her from the very beginning of Power that Tasha would be the last man standing. She said, I just remember Courtney explaining to me the importance of my character really representing women, particularly African-American women who have always tried to be the matriarch of the family and tried to stick it out in their marriage, even if there is dysfunction. Courtney Kemp basically painted this picture of her own life. She said, I became a single mother over the course of writing power and I found myself in this place of guilt and constantly trying to give my child enough. If you're not healthy, which I think Tasha cannot be, and sometimes I'm not at my healthiest, you take on more responsibility for your child's happiness than you should. 
and you wonder, what decisions have I made that have ruined this kid? I'm just quoting a couple things Courtney Kemp, Notori Naughton, Michael Rainey Jr. and some of the other cast said for y'all to give you guys some insight what the cast was talking about in some interviews and stuff like that. Now by the end of Power, Tasha wasn't necessarily the last man standing, but she was essentially the last woman standing as the bodies of Angela and Lakeisha piled up. But Ghost is getting a much needed injection of strong female power in the shape of Oscar nominee Mary J. Blige. As Tariq balances college and caring for his sister and grandmother, he'll find a different parental figure in drug kingpin Monet Tejada. We all know the secrets the St. Patrick's kept from each other ruined that family. I hope Tariq can make a legacy, you know, he can build an empire, and he can start living good. At first when I watched Power Season 6, the finale, I'm like, damn man, I really hate Tariq. And I hated Tariq for so long, but I came to realize that, you know, this is just a show, and I want to root for Tariq in Power Book 2 Ghost. I'm going to do everything I can to like this kid Tariq. All we can do is hope he makes better decisions, and hope he doesn't mess up like he used to in Power. We know that Tariq was known for messing up. He was always making the wrong decisions and he was always screwing somebody over. So let's hope in this series, in this new installment of Power, he uses his brain a little bit better than he did in Power Season 6 because he was always screwing somebody over. You know, I wish nothing but the best for Tariq. He still needs an ass whooping though if you ask me. He needs that ass whoop but, you know, I wish nothing but the best for him. I'm gonna be rooting for him. How many shows have we watched where we wanted to root for the bad guy? You know, in every show you watch, you're not going to want to root for every good guy. There's always a bad guy that you want to win. And Ghost wasn't always such a good person. But I can't wait, man. We're a couple days away from Power Book 2 Ghost. The premiere is finally almost here. We're literally, literally a couple days away. And then we get to watch the first episode of Power Book 2 Ghost. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Comment your theories, predictions, everything down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think is going to happen. Comment all your theories. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all Power Book 2 Ghost content in the future. If you guys want to donate to the channel to help support the channel, I got links in the description to do so. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.